Hey guys, Case with Top Branch. Today we're going to do the beginner guide to cutting a tree. Uh, we have a nice white pine here, it's super easy. We have all the room that we need here, plus it's got a little forward lean right where I want it to go. So we're going to do a traditional face cut and then just a nice easy back cut. Thing is going to flop down and then the machine is going to drive away with it later. First thing you're going to consider when you're uh, coming up uh, to a tree like this, we're just going to look at the whole entire tree. We're going to see what the see what the lean is and see where we want to go and we, we've had those established we want to go right that way right into the lean of the tree um, so basically I'm gonna approach this tree and if, if I am the tree I'm gonna come on its right side the reason why I come on to its right side is so that way I can tuck right in here because my saw makes a nice 90 degree corner right here and the tree fits in here right really nice so that way I can aim the tree because when you do your face cut that's when you're establishing the direction that you want the tree to fall we're gonna show you how to do it I'm gonna basically gonna gonna basically just gonna kneel down just like this put the tree right in tuck it right in nice and close I'm gonna be behind the tree so that way I can use my sight line which is right here to guide the tree in the direction that I want it to go when I establish my face cut what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna do my down cut my top cut of my face cut first so that way I can sight it easily go through make my uh, make my bottom cut of the face so that way it's at least at least uh, 80 degree or 70 degree angle anyway so that way when it's going uh, we have control most of the way most of the descent to the ground basically so let's do uh, let's do that and then we'll uh, say we'll talk about the next step Right here is where a lot of people uh, start to go wrong. You can see that my saw is at quite a bit of an angle. My tip hasn't got uh, down so that way my bar is parallel or perpendicular to the grain of the tree. What I want, because I know that the tree is straight up and down and I want to make a nice 90 degree corner between basically my chain here and then the tree. You can see that we're uh, at a pretty steep an angle. Especially if you have a doll chain, the tip of your saw is not going to cut quite as fast as the part that has the pressure on it which is which is right here so what I need to do what I need to do is I need my my saw to be right around here or so so that way that way when I make my face cut everything is nice 90 degree uh, 90 degrees to each other from the axis the tree is going this way and then my my saw is perpendicular to that so that way I'm utilizing the fibers of the tree to their highest strength possible because as soon as you take an axe and you put a chop of tree this way it doesn't go in but if you put some angles that it goes right into the right into the fibers of the tree we want our uh, our face cut and our back cut to be nice 90s so that way as the tree is falling those fibers are there's no shear forces on them sideways if you had a slant to your your face cut or your back cut so I'm gonna fix my fix my my uh, my top cut here and I'm gonna just look down my sight line when I'm when I'm where I where I think I need to be make sure everything's good come through do my face do my bottom establish my face and we'll look at it reason why I do my top before first because it's easy the tree holds my saw so when I'm looking down this felling line right here my sight line I know exactly where to go and I don't have to hold it all I have to do is have a little up pressure and it's right where it needs to be that's why I tend to do my top cut first and then my face I'm just connecting the bottoms and it's much easier that way when you're doing your bottom first you're kind of hitting a target you can't see plus I'll show you a cool trick when uh, so that way I don't bypass my my uh, my cut and then have to mess with it later. <laughs> basically, I'm gonna line this part up. Uh, I'm gonna basically put my saw here, try and hit for this over here. But as I'm coming through, I'm gonna look through my cut of, through my top cut until my bar gets where I want to be. Then that way, that way I don't go past that and have to have to do a top cut again. <laughs> Uh -huh. 
as you can see my bar how it comes right into that cut my, when my bar comes right into the cut that's when you know to you stop not then you don't go too far and now I have a nice 90 degree face and basically if you go in uh, if you go in basically your chain width into it that's totally fine or your chain height if you go in a quarter or three eighths of an inch it's not going to be in the end of the world or anything if that happens so now that I've created this my face cut here um, this plane as the tree falls this plane and this plane will slowly get closer and close together when this is narrower it will touch before the tree hits the ground and then it will cause this these fibers that you leave inside the hinge to break so it makes it so like when i'm in the tree if i want it to be a little bit narrower so that way the bot the bottom the the butt pops off it creates more of a roll um or if I want a tree to be held all the way down so that way when it hits the ground, my fibers are still intact. I'll have this closer to 90, if not more than 90. So that way, that way that board that's still in there is, is basically attached the whole entire time. And I want it so that way this basically is right on the edge of breaking when this falls, basically. So now we're gonna go through, just do your traditional uh, back cut, the way that, uh, way that we kind of in school, when I went to, uh, do one of these classes to get uh, a close a close uh, kind of reference for what plane you're on is basically hold your saw and have it so your bar is touching your face right here and when you back up just hold that and now I'm actually really close really close to the same to the same uh, angle as this one is for uh, so that way I can keep these two cuts parallel so one of, one of my uh, classmates just did this held it went right around and then started in his back cut right here that that made it so that way that way these two planes were parallel to each other not doing this up or down sometimes <laughs> if you have uh, really stiff knees you'll have a tendency to have the 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 engine of the saw higher and the tip down so there'll be an angled side cut so you want in, in a situation like this you want to get nice and nice and comfy get down nice and low when you're cutting so that way that way you're not uh, you're not stressing and straining to do this kind of thing and as soon as you get close you're gonna pick this back knee up and get ready to run for this one I'm gonna be on the other side of the tree mostly because then that way I can use my dogs to really bite into the tree and it can hog right off and I because I want to I want to cut this part back portion kind of quickly because we're starting to get in the heat of the summer so these fibers have a tendency to want to uh, to split a little bit and plus then that way I get some speed so that way uh, that way I'll get through there's a couple branches up top I'm gonna try and get pushed right through now let's make it happen how that guy kind of popped up and went backwards a little bit when you're planning your escape route for these trees you want to be at a 45 a lot of times if you're at a 90 degree if I ran 90 degree here I would have been in the path of this tree but if I ran at a 45 it's easy because the tree is falling this way and I'm running away from it that way you're out of the canopy throwback plus plus you're out of uh, a little more of harm's way when you're at a 45 from from the direction of the uh, tree base. <clears throat> super nice, super s s easy. Um, they're a little bit uneven, but it's because we were just kind of going fast and it was, uh, was not that big of a priority. You can see when you have these higher uh, sticks that are sticking up on, on top of your, your uh, hinge here, this is called what they call fiber pull, where the fibers, instead of breaking, they're actually pulling out because they're holding so good because this hinge is relatively big so this hinge was just probably a quarter inch too big for the the diameter or for the diameter of this tree but we had so much force pulling it backwards that we ended having some fiber pull here to get away from that you would actually bore into this tree establish your hinge and then come out the backside especially if you have high value trees or anything like that because this, uh, if you had really long fiber pull here, then it would end up making it so that those boards that are inside of there are actually devalued. So 
that's just uh, some of the things, but that's in a little bit more advanced stuff. But this is a, uh, this is your beginner, beginner tree uh, felling kind of tutorial. Like and subscribe, guys. Also down in the comments, whatever you guys want to see for the next videos, put them in there, and we'll try and uh, bust those guys out as uh, as we kind of do things because we've had a lot of had a lot of these good uh, these good trees lately, and we want to show you guys how to do them. So that's one less tree I have to cut because there's a lot.